cardiovascular exam has two parts, the cardio part and the vascular part. So listening to the chest, you may hear the physician describe the rate of the heart, so it may be slow, in which case you may describe a bradycardia. It could be normal, in which case they probably won't mention, unless they give you a rate. Uh, or you could have a tachycardic heart. Also, there could be some heart irregularities or arrhythmias, frequently skipped beats, and the physician may describe a skipped beat or a pause. Or if the patient has atrial fibrillation, the hallmark of atrial fibrillation is that the heart rate is irregular, but it is not in any specific pattern of irregularity. So they will tell you that the heart is irregularly irregular. So that's uh, rhythm, but there are also some other heart sounds that you need to be aware of that may be relayed. One would be a murmur. Murmurs are described as being anywhere from one out of six to six out of six, with six being the loudest. The running joke is that a one out of six only the cardiologist can hear, a two out of six the uh, chief resident can hear, a three out of six the intern can hear, four out of six the medical student can hear, uh, five out of six the patient uh, can hear, and a six out of six the neighbors can hear. So it's from quietest to loudest, one out of six. There's also what are called gallops. There's an S4 gallop and an S3 gallop. An S3 gallop, in particular, is something that is frequently heard in heart failure. And it's an indication that the heart is not pumping efficiently. And when you listen to the heart, it actually sounds a little bit like a gallop. So you've all heard of lump dub. Well, this is an extra sound, so it kind of sounds like kind of like a gallop, like a horse galloping. That's where it got the name. You may also have what's called a rub. A rub is the sound with the heart inside of the pericardial sac that surrounds it, or there's some fluid in there, and sometimes you get an extra little crunching-like sound um, in that case. Uh, if you get air around the heart, which can happen with, uh, sometimes if you have a rupture of one of the airwaves and some um, air leaks into the area around the heart, you can have a loud kind of a rub that is called a Heyman's crunch. Um, doesn't come up that often, but sometimes we see that in trauma, a Heyman's crunch. And that's the heart sounds. I mentioned that it's cardiovascular, so we also have vascular checks. And a lot of times the physician will either palpate different um, arteries, like the carotids, uh, very commonly they'll check the uh, radial pulses to make sure they're symmetric, because if they're not symmetric, sometimes it indicates an aneurysm or a dissection of the aorta where one side's getting flow and the other isn't. They may check the femoral arteries, which are down in the groin area, and sometimes dorsalis pedis pulses, which are on top of the feet. Uh, one of the other things that we do is we will frequently listen to the neck, and this is listening to the carotid arteries, listening for what's called bruies. Bruies are almost like a murmur, except that they're in the blood vessels and the arteries rather than the heart, and they can indicate turbulent blood flow, such as a clogged artery, which you might see in somebody that you're evaluating for strokes. You can also hear bruies listening over the left side of the abdomen, over the aorta. 